I'm doing my 32 week update, kind of like weeks 30, I don't know if I did a 30 week update. Anyways, I've missed a couple and there hasn't been much change since like the last one I don't think is why I just decided not to do one. So I'm 32 weeks exactly today and a few different things have been happening and I just had an appointment um, this past weekend so figured it was time for an update. Um, so baby is the size of a squash. She is about 16 inches long, well 16 and a half, and about 3.75 pounds. So she is getting big. Um, at my appointment, <coughs> um, my belly was measuring about 34, she said, but she said feeling the baby and the size of the baby, she said she doesn't feel like terribly huge or anything. I'm just measuring a little bigger, so we're not sure. I think I've measured bigger with a couple of the other kids, so I'm not too worried about having like a big baby or anything, but you never know. So, um, also, what else? Oh, she gave me the papers for like what I need to bring for myself to the birthing center and what I need to bring for the baby. Um, things to kind of like help my body prepare for labor, like um, evening primrose oil, um, raspberry leaf tea, and just different things I can do to kind of like get ready for labor. Um, you don't have to do them, she said like. I'm gonna go into labor either way, but if I feel like I need to do something, she gave me a list of stuff that I can kind of do. Um, and that all will start at around 36 weeks. Like she doesn't, you shouldn't do it before then. So um, around 36 weeks, I um, I do use the evening primrose primrose oil. So like I already have that. And then I was thinking about maybe um, starting to drink the tea just because, but um, I don't really plan on doing anything else besides walking and all the other things that everyone does to try to go into labor. Um, I do not plan to have a baby before 40 weeks, so I am not like in a hurry. Um, if it happens, it'll be a great surprise, and if it don't, I'm not going to be sad because I've never had a baby before 40 weeks except for Jasper because they induced me. And if I would have known that I could have just, like, declined to be induced, I would have and just waited. But besides all that, I don't think any of those things will help me have a baby before 40 weeks. But if it does, it does. Um, she also gave me like the, all the signs of labor sheet, um, and that is on the fridge for Rob in case he needs to call her or something. Um, I also get to meet with my doula here pretty soon and then again later on. So everything's kind of just like going by real fast and <laughs> it's getting like pretty real, um. I knew it would uh, fly by because we all, well, in our family, we all have birthdays. So we have two August birthdays, October birthday, September birthday. I miss September. And then November, we have two birthdays. There's Thanksgiving. So, and then I'm due. So um, it's kind of flown by since August and I knew it would. And then at the birthing center, you start getting your every two week visits at 28 weeks. So it's been just like going real quick. And so, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm getting pretty nervous just because I know that I can do it natural. Like I've obviously have been pain med free before, but like, I'm just getting a little nervous about it. <laughs> uh, um, but, um, as symptom wise, I'm having like pretty much all the same symptoms. My heartburn is getting like a little worse at night 
and I'm definitely in a little bit more pain um, in my hips and pelvic bone and my tailbone. Um, I fractured my tailbone when I had Aiden and the pain just kind of gets worse and worse with every pregnancy and every child I have so uh, it started happening like last week I would say it's really it's really killing me um, more just like when I'm walking around I have to go grocery shopping and it starts hurting real bad um, standing for a long time and um, trying to get comfortable at nighttime it just it kills me a little bit so yeah I haven't been sleeping well at all my son got sick and he was in our bed for almost a whole week and I thought I wasn't sleeping well before that but <laughs> Having him in bed with us and then trying to sleep, I just wasn't getting any sleep. He is now back in his bed, but it's still been hard to get comfortable. So, yeah. As far as anything else, I mean, I'm pretty much having all the same symptoms. Uh, trouble sleeping. Uh, pregnancy brain is definitely a thing. I just feel like I can't think of things or like I get completely sidetracked and lost. Um, Braxton Hicks contractions have been very painful. Like I never knew they could be that painful, but they definitely are like super painful. Um, the other day I actually like had been cramping f like on and off all day and I was getting really irritated and like sick of it and... Um, it went away, but I think it was just due to like lack of sleep and having a baby in my bed and sitting on me like for a whole week because he was just not, not doing good. And I think it just all caught up with me and yeah, but that hasn't happened since then. So, um, uh, TMI, if you don't want to hear this, stop right now, but, um, I've been having like a lot of discharge and mucus already, which for me has not happened till like around 36 weeks and on. So it's been like a lot <laughs> and gross. Yes, but pregnancy is pretty gross. So <laughs> people don't tell you about that stuff. But um, yeah, that's been fun. Uh, mm, my boobs, they uh, have been leaking a lot more, um, probably more than um, any other pregnancy, I would say, because it's just very noticeable, I guess. I, ha I didn't really notice all that much with the other kids. And yeah, that's about like all of it for symptoms, I guess. Um, right now we've just been kind of like going through the house and downsizing, getting rid of things because my husband is getting out of the army soon after we have the baby. So we're trying to like have everything ready for the baby, everything be organized and have as little like junk in the house as possible. <laughs> so like when we do move, we don't have to like go through everything because will already have done it type of deal um and so we've been getting all her stuff ready which is pretty much in our room and yeah not much else um I thought about doing freezer meals because I just don't want to have to like do anything while my husband gets like 10 days off and I just don't want to have to do anything for like 10 days and um he says no, he doesn't want to eat freezer meals, and he will cook. So, we're going with that. He's going to cook. You heard it here. <laughs> he says he's cooking. So, um, we decided not to do freezer meals because we both kind of don't really like leftovers, so we're not sure how we would want, like, freezer meal type things. And so, um, yeah, I think that's it. Not much else really, nothing I can really think of. I have another appointment on the 14th of October. All my appointments are on Saturdays 
and it's going really fast. I don't know. We don't have really anything to get for the baby. I'm still debating on breastfeeding or not. If And it's like, so like, should already be decided, I feel like, but I'm just, I don't know. I've had bad experiences, good experiences, and I really regretted not doing it with Jasper, so I think that's why I'm like going back and forth. I don't want to like regret not trying with this baby but at the same time I feel like it's so much work I think I'm going to at least try but I'm a little nervous about it so yeah I think that's it um if you haven't checked out part one and part two of the homeschool kid tag those are up so go check them out and part three and four will be coming in a few days probably next week I wanted to do two this week and then two next week so hopefully they will be up next week and so yeah that's pretty exciting if you have any other video ideas you can leave them down below and we will totally try to make that happen um I did have a question for everyone so if you want to see a labor and delivery vlog please leave a comment below I don't want to like do it if no one really wants to see it so <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure how much I would show of actually like pushing the baby out type deal but um yeah if you want to see me in labor and active labor and having the baby let me know down below and we're going to try to get a new camera before then if that's something that everyone wants to see if not I'm just probably not going to worry about it and maybe get little clips here and there and then make a little short video but yeah so if you want to see that comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that so you can be around to meet our new baby coming in just eight weeks. And we hope you have a good day and we will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.